it is raining and windy outside but uh, inside well it's inside and uh, um, when you bring plants in doors from what I understand um, you can end up getting um, spider mites on them and uh, <clears throat> these are evidenced by seeing tiny little spider webs between the uh, the leaves and um, by seeing the leaves themselves starting to curl up lengthwise um, and that's what I was seeing on my the large tree so I did a little research on on the, the internet as well as you know YouTube videos and uh, you know turned out it's spider mites like I said before but I was trying to find a way to get rid of them and there were several different ways that you can do it there's somebody who said you can mix um, you know, milk, you know, or milk with water. And then somebody else said milk with water and a little bit of flour. And then somebody else is, you know, there's a, a, a insecticide that you can purchase, and it ain't cheap. You know, it's like I don't know, 20 bucks for a little bottle or something. Um, but and I'm sure it works fine. But you know, I'd rather try to bypass that sort of thing. And why would I want to spray m milk on, you know, diluted milk and flower on my plant if I can get away with that. I mean, you know, one thing I don't like is the smell of sour milk. I don't even like going to ice cream places a lot of times because they smell like that sour milk thing. So, uh, I end up finding a, a video on YouTube where this guy is saying, spray water on the leaves. Just water. I'm like, just water? And But his uh, philosophy behind it is you're drowning the spider mites and their eggs so I'm like all right you know I'll give it a shot it can't hurt right I mean the most that can happen is they survive a little bit longer and then I can just you know try the milk mixture or order the stuff uh, or the the insecticide but that's what I did it's, you know he said to do it every day and I've done it every day, and the, you know, the thing about orange plants is that they don't absorb moisture through their leaves, so I'm not going to be overwatering my plants by spraying it every single day. Front, you know, top and bottom of the leaves, and letting that sit, and by golly, it looks great. It looks healthy. No more leaves are curling up. I don't see the little spider webs uh, forming between uh, the little limbs and the tender little leaves and that sort of thing, so I think this is taking care of business. Um, sprayed the heck out of the plants and they're looking great as you can see.